In today's health alert, a new treatment has been approved for patients with type 1 diabetes. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has given the go-ahead to the first ever cellular therapy for adults who have trouble managing their blood glucose levels. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, here with more details on this groundbreaking treatment. Doctor. Yeah, I'm excited, right? So great news for nearly 2 million folks in the U.S. who have type 1 diabetes. And that's a chronic, chronic autoimmune condition, Glenda, where the pancreas produces little or no insulin. Patients must get lifelong care, which includes daily injections or infusions of insulin. Now, the FDA has given the green light to a cellular therapy called Lantidra to help adults with type 1 diabetes maintain their target blood glucose levels. Now what happens, your uh, patients often suffer from repeated episodes of severe hypoglycemia or low blood sugar because they have difficulty managing the right dose of insulin. And sometimes these folks develop what's called hypoglycemia unawareness, which means they're unable to detect when their blood glucose is dropping. They don't know it. And without treatment, they risk losing consciousness or even having seizures. So here's how Lantidra will help. First of all, this therapy is made from deceased donor pancreatic cells. And what it aims to do is replace the insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas. After the initial infusions, these cells will then secrete. They'll make insulin into the body. And in some cases, these cells can produce enough insulin that there's no longer a need for the patient to inject or pump insulin in order to control their blood sugar levels. So very, very exciting. So does this new cell therapy have to be repeated in order to be effective? And what about the side effects? Always the side effects, right? Yeah. So first, the Lantidra is given to a patient as a single infusion, Glenda, into the portal vein. And that's the blood vessel that delivers blood right to the liver. An additional infusion can be performed depending on the patient's response to the first dose. During the two clinical studies, 30 participants, 30 folks with type 1 diabetes and hypoglycemic unawareness received between one and three infusions of this Lantidra. Afterwards, 11 of them did not need insulin for one to five years. Super exciting. And 10 of them did not have to take insulin for more than five years. Only five of the patients were not able to get rid of their insulin dependence for any length of time. So the side effects now, right? This varied depending on the number of infusions the patients received and the length of time they were followed in the study. The most common, nausea, fatigue, anemia, and abdominal pain. However, a majority of the participants did experience at least one serious adverse reaction to the procedure for infusing Lentidra into the body and the use of immunosuppressive medications to block their immune system to help the donor self remain viable and live in the body. So while this is a major breakthrough for type 1 diabetes, it's important for patients to discuss benefits versus risk. But I'll tell you, Glenda, this is very, very important, and I think it's a great breakthrough. Anything that that helps a patient with diabetes. Listen, that, that disease killed my mom. So anything that could help that disease will be great. So sorry, Doc. Yeah, and thank you for sharing with us. Of course, of course. Right. And be sure to tune in this weekend to the Dr. Nandy Show. He's discussing racial discrimination and the thousands of hate crimes that happen every year in our country. He'll be sitting down with a panel of activists to talk about how we move from intolerance to inclusion. That's this Saturday, July 1st, 5 p.m.